iMed, your eyes, your life, your choice. The eye is the jewel of the body, so said Henry David Thoreau. A Fresno ophthalmologist understands that and is traveling the globe to restore and preserve them. His story in tonight's To Your Health. Okay. He's been to Honduras, Nepal, Afghanistan. Here's Madagascar on the map. And last week, Fresno ophthalmologist Dr. Mehdi Gajar went to Madagascar, an island nation east of Africa in the Indian Ocean. He went to restore something many of us take for granted, eyesight. So there are a lot of people with reversible blindness uh, from corneal diseases that can have their vision restored with a corneal transplant. Corneal transplant is not currently available in Madagascar, but Dr. Gajar, along with the Lions Club Sight First program, offered it free to six people there, three men and three women, some blind from disease or injury and pre-screened by local doctors. They were mostly young people in their 20s up to the ages of 40. Uh, who had lost one eye. Now, a couple of them were legally blind in both eyes, and so we still only did one eye because it is such an involved surgery. The corneas were donated by an eye bank in the U.S. Dr. Gajar kept them on ice for his 20-hour flight. This is a young man uh, who had also keratoconus, and he was uh, 20 years old. These are pictures the doctor brought back of the six surgeries in two days, quite a contrast to the one or two a week he normally performs. The instrumentation and the, and the microscope were not ideal, and so the surgeries took a little bit longer, and I wanted to make sure that they have excellent you know, outcome. So each of them probably took about an hour and a half to two hours each. Grueling, yes, but the end result was worth it. The younger patients who had uh, actually very immediate results, they were very happy. I didn't understand their language, but they were just very thankful, and you know, same with their families. Dr. Gajar also conducted two lectures during his stay to instruct the ophthalmologists in Madagascar on the aftercare for these patients. He says it's his hope that one day the doctors on the island nation will be able to perform corneal transplants themselves. For a glasses or contact lens wear, LASIK surgery may seem like the right option, but technology has advanced and there are more options to correct your vision. Dr. Mehdi Gajar is here from Eye Medical Center to expand on all that. Welcome to the show, doctor. It's good to have you here again. Thank you. What is advanced surface ablation? Because that's one of the newest technologies out there, isn't it? Yes, Alex, it's an improvement actually on uh, predecessor to LASIK, and it's similar to LASIK. It allows correction of your uh, vision with uh, getting rid of glasses or contacts, but without the flap that's used in LASIK. Okay, so is this for maybe someone that needs LASIK, or are there certain candidates who are good candidates for this then? Well, candidates who, um, people that do not qualify for LASIK sometimes are those with uh, very high nearsightedness or people with thin corneas or severe dry eyes. And advanced surface ablation allows these people to basically have their vision corrected. Uh, without the risk associated with LASIK. No kidding. Well, yes. that's great news for those people because I know LASIK is an amazing thing for many people. What makes this different than LASIK then? I know you touched on sure. it a little bit. but The technique is uh, different. There is no flap, and so we're just touching the superficial aspect of the cornea and reshaping it with a laser. And uh, previously, it was associated with a lot of pain, and sometimes the outcomes were not so great, but with new techniques, and uh, use of a contact lens after the surgery just for uh, a short period of time, there is no pain, and it's, uh, the outcomes are fantastic. Sometimes they're better than LASIK. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, another option. It's called, and correct me if I say this incorrectly, intraocular lenses. Correct. Intraocular lenses are uh, the, exactly what they sound like. They're mm -hmm. lenses that are put inside the eye. Now, when people have cataract surgery, they have lenses placed on inside their eye, but for young people who do not have cataracts and you just want to correct their vision mm -hmm. and uh, what you can do if they're very nearsighted and they're not good candidates for LASIK then we have two options right now. One is an intraocular contact lens and the other one is an intraocular lens that goes in front of the pupil and that's for people with very thick glasses uh, we can pro provide this option to them. At what age? It can be done basically over the age of 21 or to the age when somebody's vision has stabilized, where their glasses are not changing anymore. Okay, but, but you say wait a little while because obviously a child's eye just develops and develops. Sure, so, your okay. prescription is changing. Gotcha. So here you see a picture 
of uh, what's called the Vizian lens that goes mm -hmm. behind the iris. And then there's another one called the varicized lens, which um, goes in front of the iris. And they're both uh, good options. This is uh, the one that goes in front of the iris. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a little bit more surgically difficult to place, but in my opinion, it's a safer lens than the previous one, and so I uh, really prefer this uh, technique. Okay, and I know more pictures are going to pop up. Go ahead and describe to us what we're looking at, because mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting that there's so many options out there. Correct. This is the uh, varicized lens, and it goes in, in, in front of the uh, pupil and the iris, and it clips on onto the iris. Oh. And if you're minus 15, minus 20, um, you can have this lens basically make you independent of uh, contact no lenses. No kidding. It's a wonderful option because not only does it make you independent of glasses, but the visual quality is a lot better than, let's say, somebody who's wearing very thick glasses. Do you feel it? No, you don't feel it at all mm -hmm. because it's on the inside of the eye. So we don't really have sensation there unless there's something bad going on. Okay. Uh, so this has really no feeling. It's uh, always comfortable. And you Feels obviously can't even see it. Yes, you can't see it. If you look uh, you know, at a normal distance, maybe if you look under a microscope, you'd see it. But at a normal distance, you won't be able to tell that somebody has it in. And it's permanent. It's permanent, but in some ways it's removable, which also mm -hmm. makes it a safer option compared to LASIK, because LASIK, when you reshape the cornea, it's reshaped forever, but yeah. this can be removed. Because a lot of times with LASIK, uh, I've, I've heard people complain about their night vision not so good anymore. Correct. Is that the case maybe with, with this, or is that? Very rarely, if people have large pupils, they may have some glare and halos, but one advantage, another advantage to this is that because you're not touching the cornea, they're not going to have dry eye symptoms, which is another issue with LASIK. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's great to have all those options out there. Yes, pretty soon, do you fantastic. think people are just not going to be wearing contacts or glasses anymore? I think uh, pretty soon we will probably have treatments for everybody <gasps> with whatever prescription that they could be independent. At a, you know, obviously the safety is the most mm -hmm. important matter here, and yeah. and these are time-proven uh, techniques now. That's amazing. Four eight six five zero zero zero. That's the number for Dr. Yajar. He is over at the Eye Medical Center of Fresno. We sure appreciate you being here. Thank you very Come much. Come back and uh, keep us posted on all those new technologies out there. Thanks, would you? Okay, thank you, Doctor. Stick around. Central Valley Today, we'll be right back. Hi, Med. Your eyes, your life. Your choice.